if you drive through Atlanta, the landscape just in two years have changed. It's unrecognizable, right? Because of all the apartments and condos that are going up, right? Construction workers are making less than people working in fast food places here. You've got all this growth going on, all this construction and all these corporations coming in and they know it's the South and they, they, they capitalize off the ignorance of a lot of workers that don't know better. So the workers are the ones that are getting uh, exploited by all this growth. The time is now. We have to come together as a community, as leaders and as unions to put a stop to this nonsense. What democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what the union looks like. This this specialty Finishes is a commercial like. painting contractor that operates here in the city of Atlanta and across our jurisdiction. They've done a lot of high profile work. They're not a small mom and pop shop. They have a lot of partners and they're taking advantage of some of the workers that are helping them build the city. In reality, porque uno escucha a otras personas, a los finicheros, que si les pagan overtime. Entonces lo único que saben decir, no, que, lo, que en las pinturas no te pagan overtime. Eh, yo tuve un, un accidente recién iniciado allá, me golpearon la cabeza y quedé eh, en el piso. Perdí pues, conocimiento por algunos segundos. Eh, y lo único que hicieron allá fue como, como asustarme, no, no vaya a decir nada porque no me tuvo ningún problema. A lot of these workers, they are just not receiving the wages they should be receiving. A lot of them are being taken advantage. And if it wasn't for them, a lot of this, the city would not be in the place that it is. They are literally the backbone of this city. And we want to make sure that we can reinforce the backbone of Atlanta as much as we can. This country was built on the back of these workers. This city was built on the back of these workers. And we're tired of it. So while going to all these job sites, we ran across a lot of workers from specialty finishes, and we were hearing the same issues over and over again, that they were being hired by a labor broker rather than direct employees of the company, and because of that, they a lot of time weren't getting paid overtime, they weren't getting the kind of benefits that other workers were getting, um, and just general mistreatment. We've spoken to women on the projects who uh, have mentioned gender discrimination. <laughs> Me bajé abajo y yo miré que estaban como coqueando, tirando el coqui. Y yo miré que solo tenían a las mujeres y eso me pasó, me pareció un poco como injusto. Y le dije que me enseñaran las manos y sus manos estaban todas labradas, sacando sangre. We are here today, standing in solidarity with the workers of Specialty Finish. Large painting companies like Specialty Finish take advantage of cheap immigrant labor, threaten the livelihood of their workers, they get rich. Our hardworking people continue struggling to earn enough money to feed their family. Having this relationship with IUPAD kind of like help us, you know, understand, you know, what are our constitutional rights, how we can better inform our community members about their rights so they can actually advocate for themselves. So it's kind of like a good, um, like a relationship where we know that we're not just alone. We're coming out standing in solidarity with them for workers' rights. Workers' rights is human rights community is watching. It doesn't matter where your employer is in the state. If one of us is injured, all of us is injured. I'm fully with you. Uh, when you say this is what community looks like, when you call me, and I'm a part of this labor community full out. We did a house call, and he, these painters actually work for Specialty Finishing. And then one of the workers kind of got a little nervous because a name was brought up, somebody that wanted to attend the meetings, but they were like, no. And then, like the very next day, they were fired. Since then, most of the painters that we were talking to have been let go, but we still are currently talking to workers. Our objective here is just to let everybody know that this company is a bad player, that they're taking advantage of workers and they're exploiting them, and they're, they're w knowingly doing it. Un viernes dos de la tarde, y yo ya iba a ir por mi cheque esa semana, y cuando nos dicen, ustedes ya no trabajan más. De hecho, nos tenían que pagar un, unos tickets de parqueadero, no nos pagaron tampoco. Pues el overtime menos, porque igual nunca nos pagaron overtime. 
entonces ahí ya, ahí ya, ya entra la preocupación. ¿Yo ahora qué hago? Yo tengo un hijo, yo tengo un hogar por el que responder. Why is it that they are being taken advantage of? Is it because they're not from here? Is it because they don't speak our language? No matter where you come from, what language you speak, that's why unions were built by immigrants. So was this country, and we forget that so often, right? If we don't start organizing, if we don't start combating these contractors who are misclassifying these workers, who are taking advantage of these workers, because that's what unions were made for, to help workers. We won't be what we are, and uh, we'll never be what we were if we don't try.